eating from his illness. I tell you what, there's a lot of people tonight that's wanting to know Jesus, but nobody is really wanting to take and really take and give God a chance in their life. They'll take and turn to drugs. They'll turn to alcohol. They'll turn to all different other kinds of lust of the flesh to try to be able to be taken care of. But friend, listen to me tonight. God really wants to change you and make a difference in your life. You say, Brother Paul, does God really care about me? I believe that he does. I know that there's some people that's sitting out there tonight that maybe everybody else has turned their back on you. I had a woman one time come to me and she said, you know, Brother Paul, my husband looked at me and he told me that he would sell his soul to Satan if he could take and make sure that I died and I went to hell. I want you to know tonight there's a lot of wives, there's a lot of mates out there tonight that maybe feel like nobody cares about them. But listen to me tonight. God cares about you. God wants to make a difference in your life. You say, Brother Paul, are you sure? I started thinking about what the Bible said in 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 9. He said that the Lord is not slack concerning his promises as some men count slackness but is long suffering to us were not willing that anyone should perish but that all would come to repentance. That means tonight that God cares enough about you no matter how bad you are. I don't care how many diseases you've got. I don't care how many addictions you've got. Praise God he still loves you tonight. I thought about his very first creation. God began to form man out of the dust of the earth. He breathed the breath of life into man's nostrils and man became a living soul. He was perfect in every single way. God took a rib out of Adam and there he created woman and he called her Eve. He placed them in the most beautiful garden. There my friend neither one of these people had any sin at all. He told them he said you can eat freely of every tree of the garden but of the tree of good of knowledge he said thou shalt not eat of that tree for in the day that you eat thereof you'll surely die. I'm going to tell you what my friend at the very best we do we still sin and Adam and Eve began to transgress what God said for them not to do but you know what God didn't say I'll not take care of them no more I'll turn my back on them they disobeyed me they have done what I told them not to do I'll take and kill them and destroy them out of this garden no my friend the Bible said in the cool of the day God came walking and said Adam where art thou he said Lord I heard thy voice and I hid myself for I was naked and I was afraid he said Adam who told you that you were naked he said if you eat of the tree that I told you not to eat of he said that woman you gave me she gave me to eat and I did eat but you know what God did God took them precious little animals the very first blood that was ever shed and mentioned in the Bible was those little animals that God made coats of skins and he began to cover Adam and Eve. Oh, they tried to use fig leaves and they sewed them together. They began to try to cover themselves and not let anybody see them. But you know what? The fig leaves couldn't work for them. You know why? Because there was no blood involved. See, the only thing, as the brother said tonight, is that God took his son's precious blood. The Bible said without the shedding of the blood, there's no remission for sin. I want you to understand tonight that God took his own creation. He began to take and to shed that blood. And he began to make a, a covering for a man and woman. I want to tell you what he did for people like us tonight. Uh, God took his son and he allowed him to be made sin for us who knew no sin, uh, that we could be made the righteousness of God in him, the Bible said. And God took that royal righteous red blood, praise his sweet name, and he began to cover our sin uh, and to take and to cleanse us uh, from all unrighteousness.
righteousness, praise his sweet name. Uh, the Bible says tonight uh, that God really cares about us. Uh, God does not want you to go to hell tonight. Uh, my friend, God has sent me here to preach to you. Uh, God has sent his family here to testify to you. Uh, God has tried his best uh, to get you to understand and believe uh, that he loves you. Uh, the Bible said in Matthew chapter 25 and verse 41 uh, that God prepared hell for the devil and his angels. God does not want you to go to hell tonight. Uh, God will not send you to hell tonight. Uh, 